welcome to the Red Sea guys, you can see the water is crystal clear blue, you can see the Agada regions over here, which is doing a quick spin and then we're going to go and land in the desert airport down here, check out this blue, I love it. So there's the main area of Agadi, you can see it there in the distance. We're just about to land. Here you can see guys some of the resorts here on the coast. Apart from that little bit of desert there. <laughs> Now we just come off the aircraft, as you can see, on the bus, players in the sunshine. Yeah, how are you feeling? I'm feeling so great that it's so hot, but I'm still boiling me now. I've only got two layers on now. She's only got two layers. What degree do you think it is? Uh, I think it's probably about 25. Okay, it's about 25, even though it, the sun's just about to go down. I'm a little bit concerned. Why? That we still got a lot of things to do to pick up the luggage <laughs> and we still might not have a lift because we've okay. arrived like an hour early. But, okay. you know, an hour in the sun, I'm waiting with the luggage. I can get my bikini out. Okay, we're now here at the airport, which I've been building for the last maybe 30 or 40 years, doesn't finish yet. Um, here we go, here we are at the airport. You can hear the mosque over there, it's just started. Claire. So we've got nobody to greet us. This is the first. No, this has never happened to me before, ever. What I think so far this is about our trip is that, like, <laughs> for one, it looks like it's about to rain. Yeah. And it never rains in the desert, apparently. So we're probably cursed already. <laughs> uh, the stupid Egypt people, not only were they rude and obnoxious us in the airport and didn't want us to take our luggage, not only that, they then break my suitcase, it's brand new, but she really pissed me off. Sorry, you must be me. That's a right. I'm and glad to see that you're always so po positive as usual, but my dear. On the, on the bright side, of you, it's I nice and warm. Nice food Can we just uh, inspect your case? Show us the damage. You may have to. You may have to send this video to customer services. And how much did this case actually cost? Right, twenty-six pounds. Well, there you go. Like From Poundland, was it? No, I don't know yet if anything of my property has been stolen by you. <laughs> Full of positivity as always, Claire Clarissa. <laughs> Check out the bunting here in the Egyptian street. As you can see, we've got Claire, Shafi, and myself here on the back of this motorbike. Um, we've just been to see our friend Mr. Tarek, and we're just driving through the streets. Our first day, it's been really, really nice, hasn't it, Claire? It's been Meeting really hectic. Morning. We look forward to going to the beach tomorrow. Woohoo! Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Falafel Breakfast Style. Now, Claire's just been outside and um, bought breakfast. How much was it, first of all? Um, £4, which is equivalent to about 45p. So 45p for a little breakfast there. Falafel, which is deep fried chickpeas, salad, and lots of bread. Um, let me just, shall, I, shall we show them around the flat as well? Yeah. While here? Okay, so first of all, this is the living room stroke um, kitchen. This is nice. We're, yeah. <laughs> We're going to do like a small cooking show on that. And then we've got two balconies. This is balcony number one, the smaller one. This is the, we'll wait for the massive uh, reveal of the big balcony. Down, though, you can see construction work going on. <laughs> As always, here in Egypt. The good news is that we're just off Sheraton Road, so the main street is just down there. Sunshine is bright this morning. Um, and then coming yeah. through the room. Right, now apologies, I am just sorting out my case, so <laughs> let, I'll show you my bedroom in a minute. Here's just a little bathroom and kitchen. Sorry, bathroom and shower. And then in here, as you can see, I'm just trying to sort out my bags now. We're still recovering from the mighty, mighty. <laughs> two-bag situation. I, I like to say, look, if you're looking at this, this is, <coughs> is 60 kilos worth of luggage. <laughs> <laughs> <You're in full. laughs> 
<laughs> no more including a hand luggage. I reckon we got 80. Oh, probably about 85. 80, maybe more. Right. <laughs> okay, so here's the little desk. Um, yeah. Here's our bed, which, do you know what? Because normally it's like really hard bed, but this is like a real mattress this time. So I'm really impressed with... Uh, We've got this lovely, nice, new, chic blanket. Mattress and what was really impressive about this, like, I'd just like to say that if you're worried about security or at all, just go downstairs, there's a little room where a man's sleeping in his bed, <laughs> watching as you come in and out. Day and night, 24-7. I was tempted to give him one of the fluffles, but he did look a bit starved. <laughs> oh, Schnuder, he's a little bit um, on the thin side. Anyway, she was the best bit. Where are you going? She was the best oh, bit. Oh, yes, the balcony. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's like a hotel terrace. Can I just say this? So we've got this is our second balcony, and it's a double balcony as well, with dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a few chairs out here, Daddy. It would be great. Well, I reckon we can drag the living room chairs, I as you can we see. Tell him we got enough chairs. A bit of cor a bit of work as well going on here, but I think you know it's not like built up as in line the other side. This is the fluffle shop just here. Right, so this is the red fluffle shop, which is really great. Then we've got the bread shop just here, and then there's just some say the oranges, little supermarket on that side. It's There's really quite. Internet on this side as well, We've got a little internet cafe, but the best bit—I don't know whether you can see on top of that other roof. I did quite a lot of like stretching and stuff on top of the roof. So in a moment, I'm going to go up there and check out what the roof's like, and hopefully, we can do our sunbed sessions up there. The beach, by the way, is just over the other side of those buildings. So we look forward to going there later. We'll see you later. Here we go, guys. It's what degrees do you think it is there? I reckon about 27. And how are you uh, finding it? I'm finding really hot. Your first hot. morning. What are we doing? We're going to go and buy some water and go to the beach, which is going to be quite fun. Um, we are just walking along the road, not the actual pavement, which is quite scary. Now, I thought but you were truly Egyptian and you understood this. I did. So the pavements are not very straight and they go up and down all the time. So people just walk in the road. This morning's been it's quite normal. exciting so far. We've done quite a lot. We have, people have tried to con us and make us pay 7 LE for um, a bottle of water. two bottles of water and a drink. We just walked out. We just walked out. But when you think about it in concept of England, it's only like 70p. Where in England could you get two bottles of big water and a can of drinks 70p? I know, it, right. it may just look like tight ones, but we love it. <laughs> okay, let's find the beach. Right guys, first of all, we're here on the beach. I just want to show you, first of all, Todd exactly taking his clients out for a diving trip over here. And then secondly, check out the aquarobic sky over here. This is why everyone, people think I'm so amazing at teaching aqua. Because, oh, where is he? I can't find him, here he is. So this really very black guy, he must be from Sudan or somewhere, is, as you can see, teaching aquarobics in the sea, just to let you know, he's actually doing it in the sea. Know how he's not using the water resistance, he's just doing basically a little bit of a few fun arm moves. He's been doing about ten. I don't know whether you can hear him as well, but he's counting one to ten on all the things, and then all the Russians are in the water doing it. So welcome to aquarobics, Egyptian style. Right now over here, you can see Claire who's on the beach. You okay? Yeah. Are you happy now you're at the Red Sea? I'm glad that we were at the Sunday and that's what we had to get a pass. And the view is amazing. I'm a bit upset that we have to get 8, 8, 8 <laughs> I think but that's cheap, okay. really. I think that's cheap. Okay, then over here you can... Uh, I'm just going to give you a video of Claire's body now to see how white she is now. And then later on... I'm just watching Tarek over here and I think they're actually doing some sea diving. Maybe they're not going out on that boat, look. Why will you not eat any of this stuff? Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> We're here in the um, little shop. I'm just going to guide you around our little shop here. These are guava, which is my favourite thing. We've got some oranges and we bought some bananas as well. We've got this whole cart over here. Um, <laughs> Right, here we are. Claire's going to do is the step challenge now. So here we are at the bottom of our flat, and what we've got to do is get up onto the fifth floor. Ready, Claire? Let's go. Right, now these stairs are really very slippy, so should the video fall off or just stop at any point, you know, I've fallen over. Okay. Now this is part of our training exercise plan. We've got about... How many stairs do you think? 200? Or maybe 150. Right, as you can hear, me and Claire are finding it really quite demanding. 
somebody who's not finding it very demanding is Tarek Zaki, who's taking two steps at a time with his massive legs. Sometimes three. <laughs> Sometimes three. How are you going, Claire? Oh, right, we're in flat number 11, so we've just got one more to go. I reckon about 120 steps. And here we are at flat number 11.